Legend of Total War here with part 3 of my Rome 2 Let's Play campaign as Rome. Alright, so previously we've uh, pretty much just conquered the, uh, h at least half of Africa, all the stuff um, east of Carthage. Except for Axum, I don't care about that. And we've uh, we've increased our Imperium enough that the, the Civil War is is possible but not necessarily likely. There's always a chance it could show up at any point during the end turn, but I don't know. I want to try and get our influence. We need to get to 70% to get to here, to get to Peerless, and that might bring it up to medium chance of success, uh, of, um, of um, Civil War. Okay, so since we don't want these Arabic settlements right now, it might be a good idea if we trade with them. Welcome, friend. Let us conclude our business with good haste, and then in and get things like half of my people, not necessarily military lines, but maybe non-aggression packs done. with them. No. And we have an end. So they're at war with Bactria. Uh, Himyar over I here. I will do you the honor of listening to your terms, hoping to hear wisdom and profit in them. We can't trade with them, but maybe we can get non-aggression pack. But we don't know who else is out there. Now the. Um, the Seleucids love us, but probably because we're fighting against Bactria and Egypt. Well, Egypt's gone now. But I want to kill them next, so... I'm not getting any agreements with them. Okay, let's see. Did you get your additional two units? Good. Alright, now we can destroy this. I'm absolutely rolling in cash at the moment. Now that's just great. Okay, find Nami to attach yourself to. So yeah, what about here? I haven't really focused on this much. Public order is perfectly under control here. Much prefer research rate. I want to get that shit done. So we've got three armies protecting Italy, and um, four armies attacking in the name of Rome. If we've got three armies here, maybe we can make use of them. Mm. I don't know if it's a good idea. No, let's just leave it for the time being, because as soon as we attack out here, those other three um, Alpine Gaul tribes will uh, will come and attack me. Together we achieved much. Yeah, 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 whatever. Didn't they pay for it? Or did I end up paying them like a hundred for it? I don't know. This will be the end of them. That's good. Well, the end of these particular ones. There's still a navy out there that needs to be finished off. Okay, so, good, we're eight turns away from the Marian reforms. Of course, they're not called that in this game. Now, let's see if we can, I really want to get a peace treaty with, um, with Bactria. I have no interest in their lands. They got dragged into the war because of Egypt. For any passing wreckage. You can have a boat hook instead. In yeah, 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 okay, shut up. Bactria will like me a hell of a lot more. Let me just see. Okay, no, no armies there. They'll like me a hell of a lot more if I go to war with the Seleucids. They have no allies. Nobody gives a fuck about them. And so we want to take Syria. What's this? Galatia. Okay, well we can deal with them after we've dealt with the, the Seleucids. Too easy. Oh good, snail vats here provide public order. All provinces, good.
Now, I'm sure Bactria appreciated that slightly. War with Seleucids. So let's I see. Give you greeting there we go. My attention for the next few minutes. Make your case, but without a lawyer's tedium. How about you just give me heaps of heaps of heaps of heaps of money? How, can you be my client state? No, I don't want that. I must serve my people and accept these terms. Alright, good. So did I lose... I didn't lose any reliability on that. Probably because I've been at war with them for 10 turns now. You're going to need to stay here to... Where'd it go? Where's number two? Oh, they're gone. Okay, good. So I'm only at war with the Seleucids. Who's this? Martin? I've already, I've already got like a non-aggression pact with them and stuff. Or is it just, no, it's just a trade agreement, which is as good as a non-aggression pact in some instances. Yeah, get up to Jerusalem. I want you guys to be focusing on smashing the Seleucids. So Dura is part of Syria, so I want it. Alright, let's take a look at politics. We've got 66%. We've got two statesmen in Rome at the moment. 72-year-old and a 73-year-old. Both have 400 gravitas. Alright, you're old. 67%. Good. We're almost back to where we were before. Actually, no, we were at 75% before, weren't we? Just takes time. Alright, um... Money. Let's build and improve our economy. Okay, moving on to the next turn. Forgot about him. Okay, so we can see that they've got a lot of armies in Cyprus, but it looked like they were also somewhat starving as well. Are they trying to take out, or trying to take Antioch back? Because that'll suit my purposes. Weaken their armies and I can take Antioch without having to declare war on someone else. These guys are going to be moving up further. I don't want them being slowed down. Are you still at war with them or not? Yeah, okay, they're not at war with... with Galatia. There's nothing out here. We hunger for that. We cannot do that. Let them cower before Rome! Okay, I'll send these guys over here just to help them defend. They're stronger together than they are apart. You guys make your way up to Tyros. Fucking hell, they left the settlement in a shit state. Oh well, at least it's got glassware here that we means an extra research rate for us. This. Whatever we can. Actually, that'll make more money, I think. Hang on, I've still got 4,000. Let's keep spending. There we go, moving on. This senseless war can end today. It's not senseless, we want you dead. It's got a sense to it. We seem to be doing that. Little bitch. A 
I wouldn't be surprised if one of my guys died of old age. Yeah, there we go, so. They both are. Oh, please don't tell me both of them. Okay, we've still got a statesman in Rome. But we're we're running out of uh out of free experience, uh, free influence generators. It has got so old. It's so old so fast. It's one of the things that makes so many uh, bad designer about this game. Like you need good politicians, but you only once they spend so long out in battle, um, at, at, as a general, and they're 70 years old by the time they get to level fucking 6. And then they get one turn in which to generate influence, to which it doesn't generate very much. But every time you make a decision, like you want to hire a new, new faction member, you lose 5 or 10 or 15 senators. It's very silly. Very punishing game design. It's artificial difficulty is what it is. I don't like that. I suppose they want you to try and gain more influence through dilemmas. I fucking hate dilemmas. Okay, um, these guys out here, they, uh, they seem to somewhat like me. Best to get a non-aggression pact with them. I will. And that's a fleet. We've got to be very careful going from here to there. By sea. Okay, he might just be able to make it. It's okay. I just need to make this attack. No. Hmm. The thing is, the odds are really bad for us because these guys are out of water. But the the problem here is that if they catch any of my armies out of with these, they'll sink them. So we're still better off water resolving, even if we do take quite a bit of damage. Like that. We we probably would have even lost more if we had fought it manually. Ready for orders. If it's only Hostati, they can be replaced, and I'll do so here. I'm going to send them to uh, to side after this. Or C Day, however it's pronounced. So they'll have to sit there for a little while to uh, replenish their numbers. And these two. Well, you're going to come back over here, we're going to hit Antioch. Because I want it. Seleucid armies up this way. I wouldn't worry about them too much. So Edessa is part of Mesota Mesopotamia. We're not... I mean, Mesopotamia was part of the Roman Empire at one point, but only for a very short period of time. So... I don't really want to... I mean, I could, but it's just too much. Okay, we've got 68% influence, let's get a little bit more. Moving on. We could raise another army, I've certainly got room for it. Athena gives wisdom no. and air. They come across as such a little bitch. They just want to suck my dick. And I just want to break their neck. Okay, where are those are they, those armies are up this way? What are they doing? Are they what the fuck are they doing? So it looks like the Galatians are actually quite strong. Not at war with... Let's see if we can get them to go to war with the Seleucids. In exchange for... Trade. I'll pay them to do it. No. 
Just because I wanted to go to war with, with them. Um, you're going to have to stay put here for the time being because those armies out here, I'm, I, I don't know what's going on with them. Let's just be careful. We've expanded very quickly. We, we could, we've earned a little bit of time to rest. But no peace with them. Looking good, moving on. I guess you're pretty old. Off you go. 69%. Good, he's generating me loads of influence. You gotta keep it up though. I could save your ass. At your and I think I will. Let's go kill them. Victory for Rome. That'll mean trespassing on their territory. I'm sure they won't buy anything and kill the Seleucids. They are probably in my debt for doing that. Let's see if they'll accept a non-aggression pact. You should. I live to serve Rome. I want everything at your command. Okay, we should be in good enough shape that we can go and defeat side, or however it's pronounced. You come over here, sabotage them so they don't get back there in time. At your command. Bitch. Okay, we'd be best off not force marching to our destination there. Once we get to, to side, we can recruit those additional troops from there. Public order here is pretty good, but just stay where you are for the time being. And there goes all the money. Moving on. No it's peace. Senseless. Okay, I'd rather get on dry land first. I don't care if I'm trespassing on their territory, what are they going to do about it? I need you to prevent these guys from getting back there, or else it's just more fighters we have to deal with. Oh shit. That's more than I was expecting. Alright, we're going to need your help. You need to hurry up. I need you to get out this way, meet up with them. Because that's more than I was expecting to see. Just leave it level 1, it's fine. We'll have legionaries coming in soon. And they're... They're, they're the equivalent, roughly, of uh, Prinkipes. They have slight variations in stats. Good, we're almost back to where we were. Just stay alive a little while longer. Okay, secure your promotion. Come on, get us to 70%. Very close though. I think we just need two more senators. Oh, 
Okay, how's public order going faction wide? It's going really well. Let's increase the tax rate because I, I could use a bit more cash. So it's still good everywhere except for Cilicia. I could always just exempt that region from taxation for the time being. Good, we're making like an extra 7,000 per turn. Let's move on. Looks to me like those guys are planning an attack, so I'm going to bring an army back down to uh, to defend the settlement. Okay, I want you to sabotage this army here. We'll see if we can take it out. Now, there's a possibility that if we attack this, our forces will not be able to, to defeat it. Well, well, what do you know if they can? Our forces are going to be beaten to shit afterwards, but we've got a barracks right here, so we'll be fine. It's okay. We'll take this settlement. We cannot follow this order. I hope. Yep, we'll be able to take it. And then that hopefully is the end of the solutions. <laughs> no damage to any of our units there, so it worked out perfectly. The solutions aren't beaten completely yet. They must have an army or two running around. Alright, now you can come back over here. We gotta prepare for the next war. And now you guys can recruit those which you lost. Good. Wow, these guys have a lot of territory out here. Well, that fine. We'll make it easier to more to get, I suppose. All right. Um, when's this next civil war? Oh, look, we just hit seventy percent. There we go. So now we're back to peerless. It didn't increase it to medium civil war chance. Maybe we need to get the next level of Imperium first. Okay, I need to replace the spies that were lost. So we'll need... I'll need some over here. I'll get, I'll get two from here. I don't think I selected the right one there. Oh, I selected the wrong thing. Whoops, that doesn't matter. Um... Okay, now, Salamis having bad public order, I want to hire our first champion to maintain public order here. Alright, good. Let's go around and build stuff. Okay, over here. Yeah, stuff is gonna make money. Jeez, I've nearly built everything that needs to be built. Um, let's see. We could go with Aqueduct. Doesn't need growth. Go with Suburbia. We'll, we'll flip, uh, there's other types of um, industrial stuff we can get, which makes lots of cash. Moving on.
then we win here. Hopefully this is the end of the Seleucids. We might end up losing a unit or two, but that's not a big deal. Just recruit them straight back. Yeah, not a big deal. That was the end of the Seleucids. Their unit card up there is gone. Or faction card, I should say. Good. They haven't had a family member in other houses for a really long time. Alright, well, you need to recruit more for the ones that were... Okay, we can no longer get Hastati. We can get Legionaries now, though. They're, they're like twice as expensive in upkeep, but the stat differences. Like, if we have a look at them... Um, so, melee attack 35... Melee attack 47, same weapon damage, same bonus versus infantry, two extra charge bonus, one extra melee defense, right, 22 extra armor, 10 extra health, 14 extra morale, so they're, they're a lot better. Um, yeah, upgrade them. Oh, wait, 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 we're supposed to be waiting until after the Civil War to do that. I don't think anything got recruited. Oh, I don't know. Just whatever. Yeah, don't recruit too many of them just yet because when the Civil War happens, it'll be a lot easier to deal with um, with them if they're just hostility. And then we'll go for a professional soldiery straight away. Now over here in... Here, we can upgrade this to rank 3, which will give us access to Praetorians. Okay, so the game crashed just then, uh, which is unfortunate, because I, I tried to save as much as I could of the video file, and it, we were up to about 50 minutes into the video, and I only was able to save about 27 minutes of it, um, before it was, uh, the rest of it was totally corrupted because of the crash. Now, that being said, there's probably a few things in here that um, you missed out on, but you didn't miss any manually resolved battles, and you just, as I just plowed right through here. So what happened was, declared war on, on the Galatians, smashed them so far, and I was just about to actually accept, get a peace treaty from them. Uh, the Seleucids are gone, and that's pretty much, that's, that's it. We've, we've got our influence exactly there. It's just been 20 minutes of nothing, so normally in this kind of instance, if um, if you had missed a lot of stuff, I would just start the video again, which would which would make me very angry, because you know forty five minutes of wasted time is annoying. But you haven't missed out on anything important, so we're just going to continue on from here. Now, because of that that uh, break in the video, what I, what I can do is there's going to be two separate video recordings, so I can edit them together using YouTube Editor, but it doesn't like doing that with videos over an hour. So this video will be under an hour as a result. Uh, because I can't record in one big chunk. YouTube doesn't, doesn't let me edit. Yeah. Anyway, so let's just do what I was I going to do. Peace treaty. Wasting the day on you. What you say? Three thousand. So yeah, this game doesn't crash and crash that often, but it, it did happen, and I just like I said, if it was, it was a little bit later on the campaign, we're actually fighting battles manually, which is what we're trying to get to. Then yeah, maybe I'd restart the video. And of course, somebody would, I'm sure somebody would ask, wait, this is your one playing on legendary difficulty, doesn't it autosave? Yes, it does autosave, but I've explained this many times before, that I keep a backup of the save file after every, time, after every episode, just in case the game crashes. Saves my progress, but I can't... The, the thing is, the video, um, it doesn't just record my screen, it records the gameplay itself, um, what it's, what's going on, it's how it it does such a good job of compressing it. And um, when the game suddenly crashes all of a sudden, uh, Bandicam hasn't finished rendering and compressing everything, and so it just it collapses. It, 
it's the probably the one big downside to, to using Bandicam. You know, having a compressed format, but I have to use the compressed format. You know, it's the only thing that works for me. I can't I can't upload uncompressed footage, and I've tried also like like recording uncompressed and then transcoding it and like compressing it further but then I just I lose so much quality when I do that it's best to just record compressed and also transcoding takes fucking ages especially for hour and a half long 1080p 60fps videos send it up overnight for one video and when you're doing daily videos or multiple daily videos you can't afford for one video to take a day. Now, of course, some people will also say things along the line of, oh, why not just make your videos half an hour? Well, I've tr I, I did a little bit of experimenting with that. If you remember last year, I was making more along the lines of an hour-long video, and then I tried doing 45-minute-long videos, and they didn't perform as well as the longer ones. Now, the hour-and-a-half videos that I've been recording for the Skippy Eye campaign, the performance of those videos has been beyond my expectation. So longer format works way better than shorter format, but it has its downsides. You know, if it crashes, I lose way more of my time. It takes longer to upload. Can't transcode it afterwards, because it just takes too long. Can't edit it in the YouTube editor system, because it doesn't let me re edit things that are longer than an hour. I can't piece together two 45-minute episodes, for example. See, I, don't, I like using the YouTube editor because that's using YouTube's resources so that, you know, it's not choking up the resources on my computers. Try and spread my resources out as much as possible. Like, for example, the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Um, the Oda Blitz campaign. Those are recorded in, like, f between three to five parts. Because, as you guys know, I... I after taking a settlement, sometimes I need to have a think about what I need to do next. It doesn't all get recorded in one one go. Sometimes I need to save scum. And so there's like three or four different videos. And so I do all the editing in the YouTube editor system. But that's why none of those episodes are ever longer than an hour. They're actually more along the lines of 40 minutes. Alright, this is all good. Let's, um, let's move on. Funny thing about this campaign is that, this is, this is what I'm anticipating, is that the beginning of it, I imagine, would be a little bit boring for most people, because when it comes to this, the later Total War games, people are much more interested in the battles and in the strategy. I understand that, because the strategy is not that interesting in the first place. But the problem is that I find the early game battles to be very boring, and so I just Between want to rush friends, to late game battles, which is what I'm trying to do. Is Fuck off. Um, you cancel the non-aggression pact, you dickhead. So I want to rush to late game battles. But the problem is, by that point, most of the viewers have dropped off. So I need to try and get there as fast as possible so that people, people aren't bored. Now, it can't be at episode 40 and be like, hey, now I finally got Urban uh, Praetorian uh, Guard. Now I've got to get them on episode 3. Ready for Ready for okay, so yeah, we're not going to go straight to war with them again. You come back here. I definitely. I mean, hang on. Where, where did their armies go? They had one over here. Anyway, we'll see if my 60 FPS videos get more views than you know the 30 FPS because I used to record 30 FPS. Just because, you know, it, file size, it's an issue. But I have noticed the difference in, in terms of, you know, watching back the video. It is much smoother, 60 FPS. But, you know, file size is much higher as well. Everything's a double-edged sword. Hey, it'd be great if I could just record 240p, 15 frames a second, and just get a billion views off that could upload a zillion views, uh, videos a day because they're all like 500 kilobytes each. But that's not what happens. You know what, it would actually be pretty funny if I was to record an entire series on like 140p. That'd be hilarious. I might actually, that's a good idea. 
Oh man, that could be a really bad idea. That'd be okay for one standalone or like a very short series, like 140p or whatever it is. Because people people don't want to watch 50 episodes of that. It just be no nobody's recording 140p these days. I mean, why would you? But still. And my voice would be all, like, distorted and everything because it's trying to fit, you know, the, the human wavelength into two kilobytes. So, yeah. Okay, so looking at this, this gives us access to the... The... Okay, it's not available there. Uh, the auxiliary... Um, Eastern Archers, whatever the fuck they are, Syrian Archers. Which I think are really good. I quite enjoy watching them rack up hundreds of kills. So yeah, it's just a bit of time to um, consolidate our territories, even though they're pretty much already consolidated. I'm not giving you a non-aggression pact ever again. I got half a mind to go and kill you. I really want the civil war to happen right now. Now would be the perfect time to, for it to occur. Because, you know, we've got heaps of influence. I don't have any other wars going on. I can dedicate my entire focus to it. Our empire is big, but it's not too big. Actually, come up here. I don't know, maybe I need to get to that point. I've seen civil wars happen on low, low chance before, but, you know, it's based on a, a, on a roll of the dice percentage chance, get lucky or it doesn't work sort of thing, or, or in some cases it's get unlucky. Alright, if I was to declare war on them again, yeah, um, don't care, unreliable, doesn't matter, they were in our territory, they had broken through our lines without, without having to fight us. And now they've pulled all their forces back, so it's a perfect opportunity to, to take it off them. I know I lost reliability, but who's going to fuck with me at this stage? Anyway, reliability improves over time, so we'll be okay. Hang on. No, you can't quite reach him. And all that peace treaty was for was for them to move all their soldiers back in. Yeah. Okay, cool. Reputation is a resource to be used when it's convenient to do so. Okay. Anything else to build? We probably don't need to even check on the stuff every turn anymore. I need to research stuff that's going to increase, um, or give me upgraded settlement types. See, it's not going to tell me what is actually available. Get rid of it. They could have an army over here. If that's the case, I want you to come down here and sabotage them. Moving on. So yeah, I really got to keep my eye on the clock on this one. Because I can't let this video go on more than half an hour. As in this particular segment of video. I'm currently sitting on 12 minutes. I can piece them together in the YouTube editor. And not if they go over half an hour. Right, 
We need to send an army down there to defeat defeat that uh, Galatian force. If I had waited a few more turns, it wouldn't have been so bad in regard to my unreliability. But I'm already getting that fixed up. Oh, good! It's here. Fantastic! This is exactly what I wanted. The young replace their elders. It is the way of things. Teeth, swords, or lies, all are the weapons of the day. So, all of the houses over here have completely lost all their members. How many of my armies have defected? See, this is what I'm talking about. They're all still Hastati, and I, I got left, left with this one here. They're all Hastati, I suppose. And now we go boom. So we've set the trap. And they've fallen for it. Okay, how many armies up here? None. Jeez, the, the, this has gone really well. Barely any of our armies have been transferred over to the Senate. And our food supplies are good. They did get Lepsis. We need to get down there and take that. Now we can start recruiting our new Doom Stacks. Well, actually, I haven't got... I haven't got it all under control yet. You need to sabotage this guy here. Got a patrician over here. Where'd, where'd, where'd my spy go? Oh, sometimes the spies defect as well. Alright, get rid of this. Alright, let's let's actually fight this battle manually. Uh, because we've got You know, we've got superior units to them. Oh, they've got more experience. Doesn't matter, let's go fight them. Tactics-wise, there's not much to be shown here. Auto resolve would have yielded us a victory. Now, it would be so funny if manually resolving this, we lose. Now, there is no tactics involved in this because we've got no cavalry, neither do they. It's just our dumb line versus their dumb line. And whether or not their general throws themselves into the fray or not. I think it's important we just hold one strong line and move forward. We match their line in length. Because our forces are as strong as theirs, actually, our forces are as numerous as theirs, but our forces are stronger. Let's match their numbers. But good, having the Civil War this early on in the campaign is really going to give us benefits long term. And it doesn't look like it's going to be a difficult Civil War either. Looks like they're trying to take a defensive position up on the high ground. So they are actually trying to use some degree of tactics. At speed. Okay, take off take off that. Slow down. You throw your throw your javelins at them. Kill him. They're coming in in like a blob. You come over here, you need to provide support for them. The enemy general Good. One of the first guys to die is their general. Okay, what's the charge bonus? It's not it's not that high. I don't know if we should Kill it. Use your jabs again. It slaughters them. This is why you counter charge against cavalry with, with legionaries, because of the javelin move. If you just sit them there passive, sometimes they don't throw it. Sometimes they do. Ok, 
Okay, General's bodyguard all gone. Those guys over here are winded. They need help. You come over there, give them some help. Now, my general needs to stay out of the fighting for the most part because those javelins just wreck. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Losing decisively. Well, you are up against. Yeah, legionaries. Legionaries. General. legionaries! You're not doing very well at all. Come on, pick up the pace. You guys, come around this way. Don't fight everything head on. Try to go around them. Look, look at these guys here. They're not staying out of the fight. Okay. General, I want you to come around here. Hopefully you don't get shot by any javelins. I need to pull him out of the fight eventually. Crash into the rear of some of these Hastati. Try this one here. Go. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, there's Brook. Smash him into here. Our general is under attack. We'll be fine. Okay, I want to pull you out of this this combat here. He's not going to hold out that much longer, but still pull him out. I don't want to lose the unit. So yeah, get the fuck out of there. You guys need to get up here and help him, because he's not going to hold on much longer. Yeah, he's getting obliterated. Okay, now you guys get around over here. Smash them in the flanks. You stay right there. Okay, charge them in the rear. I know you guys aren't the best fighters. But just do what you can. Watch out, watch out, don't get shot by, by their javelins. Okay, we've got a bit of a mass wrap going on here, that's good. Oh, that stings. Okay, blood bee didn't die. Okay, only the legionaries, the enemy legionaries can actually stand up to us. I really want you to come back over here and try and help him out, but these guys here, they won't hold on very long. Okay, I might actually be better off charging into the rear here. Crappy charge, but it was just trying to break them. Good, that worked, they broke. Charging into this, I doubt it will work, but give it a shot. Right, get out of there. Don't want you standing and fighting. Pull him out, he's dead anyway. Forward. 
Right, get back in there. Just do your best to try and save him. There's two legionaries up here. If I have to retrain one, I might as well, you know, train two. Let's get in there and help. Stop fighting them. Just let them go. They should charge into the back of these. Now, pull him out of there. Hopefully he'll survive. Well, he definitely got a good amount of kills on that charge. Get over here. Try and save him. Oh, you, you're done. Okay, charge into their rear. And they might... We might just be able to get in on them. And break them. Okay, good. Looks like we're getting out of this one without having to to recruit new units because they'll they'll um we might pretty destroy based on that. Just want you to do one more charge into here. I gotta get them all together. Run them down. Alright, so we'll just pause the recording here as we run these fuckers down. Alright, that'll do. Close victory, I absolutely crushed them. Well, <laughs> whatever. Now, if I go back there and fight them again, I probably will end up losing these two units. But I think we do need to get rid of them. And not the units, but these guys. So we just need to suck that up. Anyway, we're right near... Wait, I think I destroyed the barracks here. If we're lucky, it won't happen. But I, I still think they'll be destroyed. Good, they didn't. Okay, now even though we're at war with um, with Galatia, let me see if we can get a peace treaty with them. Now's not the time to be fighting them. I am sure you have many yeah. pleasantries. I made myself untrustworthy on it as well. See, I only get extra shields by upgrading these, but I've got the money, so that's not a problem. Now, don't worry about many of the resolving this one here. Just order resolve it. It's just a repeat of the previous one. Judge for yourself which one you think was better, the manual resolve or the auto resolve, and in terms of what's left over of my forces. See, evenly distributed casualties there. It will not take them anywhere near as long to restore. Although we didn't do as much damage to the enemy army, but let's just see. Send you over here. That being said, he had no legionaries of his own. He might be able to make it there this turn. That guy didn't get sabotaged, did he? No. We're approaching half an hour on the video, so we might need to start wrapping things up. Oh, now you can make it there. It's risky as hell, though. Can you beat them? I mean, it's full of, full of garbage. Because if you don't, then you need to run to Samosata, which has not been... It, it's too risky, don't do it. Go back to Amicia and just wait there. Now, where I had four legions out here, now I've only got two. Um, I'm going to need to recruit a new army at Tarsus. See, all those legacies are gone. Make it veteran legionaries. No, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make up veteran legionaries. And just row REI. I just need to take these settlements back. Quickly. 
rather than send professional armies to go get them. I can always just disband the armies later. Just um, add uh, my comedies, recruit new general. I'll just try and take that back next turn. Um, so we've got heaps of influence now. Okay, yeah. Now we can afford... Now, now we actually want the Civil War stuff to come to go away completely. We want to lose that stuff. Well, by the end of the Civil War. Because um, we only want one Civil War. We don't want to be keep going with it. Alright. So we don't, we don't need these guys sitting there making influence anymore. So you can come back out. Oh, they're fucking recruiting in the same region. Doesn't matter. So they've recruited... Oh, that's right, because I had a guy there. But there's no recruitment capabilities. Alright, you... Come and retake, I sent you. Now, I anticipate that the Civil War will be over by the end of the next episode. Start wrapping things up. Okay. So this is the end of this episode. So it's not an hour and a half, but like I said, um, YouTube editing and because of the crash. Anyway, that's the end of this one. So like and subscribe. Part 4 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.